But first up, news from Pakistan, where the country's poll body has informed the top court that the general election in the country will be held by February 11th next year. The Election Commission of Pakistan shared uh, the date of a hearing on petitions calling for the timely elections in the country. The poll body also informed the Supreme Court that its delimitation exercise will be completed on November 30th. This will be following uh, the redrawing of constituencies by January 29th, paving the way for the elections to be held held. Pakistan has been in the grip of political uncertainty since the removal of Imran Khan as the Prime Minister after losing a no-confidence motion in April 2022. The Shabazz Sharif-led government that took over from him dissolved the National Assembly on August 9th this year. The Sindh and Balochistan assemblies were also prematurely dissolved to allow the electoral authority to hold elections in the country within 90 days. Had the assemblies been dissolved in time, the electoral body would have been constitutionally bound to hold polls in 60 days. However, the ECP decided against holding polls within the stipulated time as the seventh uh, population and housing census had been approved. The approval made it mandatory for the Commission to hold elections only after fresh delimitations were completed in light of the census results. To know more about this uh, or about the developments, our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik has sent us this report. Well, the Election Commission has been directed to consult the President of Pakistan, uh, Dr. Arif Alvi, by the, uh, by the Supreme Court. And in a short while from now, the Election Commission will be going into a huddle. I spoke uh, uh, to sources within the Election Commission. They said that there are multiple thoughts that are there. Either the elections uh, can be held on the 11th of February itself or even before that. Because remember, Pakistan has to re negotiate with the IMF, uh, the International Monetary Fund, for a new lease. Uh, for a new agreement and arrangement and that has to be done uh, by, uh, an, uh, by an elected government and not by a caretaker government. So the more election commission delays the elections is the more Pakistan's the, the economic crisis will deepen. So uh, as I talk to you, uh, the election commission has in fact gone into a huddle 